Hi there, my name is Michael Chez, I am a Creative Cloud Evangelist for Adobe. In this Tuts Plus tutorial, we'll be looking at what's new in the 2014 release of Adobe Muse CC. Adobe Muse is now a 64-bit native application. You can choose the brightness of your workspace from light to dark. Personally, I prefer the dark UI. Becoming a native app also means that you can dock and undock the panels. You can arrange the windows and the pages as you like. It's very convenient when you have to edit at the same time your desktop pages and your mobile pages. Being able to see both versions on the screen is a huge time saver, as you can copy-paste content from one version to another one. With Adobe Muse CC, you design web pages, adding images and text blocks. But you can also, very easily, create stunning animations using the scroll motion panel. If I need to add a scroll motion to this violin, I just need to open the panel, define the key position, and tell Adobe Muse how the object should be moving before reaching this key position and after. You can define both horizontal and vertical motions. You can also change the opacity of your objects as you scroll the page. Just define three keys on your page and set the opacity values. It's the best way to make appear and disappear visuals on your page and catch the attention of your visitor. Adobe also added new interactive widgets, including the full screen slideshow. On any page, just drag and drop the widget, select beautiful pictures on your disk, and you'll automatically get a full screen slideshow that will adapt its size to the dimensions of your screen. A lot of widgets are installed by default in the tool, but you may find that some features are missing. That's why Adobe just introduced a new marketplace of add-ons in the Creative Cloud. This new website lists all the free and paid add-ons available for Adobe Muse, but also for all the other CC apps, including Photoshop and Illustrator. As a designer, you can now, for instance, create beautiful templates and sell them on this website. This is a great way to get new widgets, such as the preloader I've developed a few months ago. Just click on the Install button and it will automatically download and add this widget to your panel in Adobe Muse. Once your design is ready in Adobe Muse CC, you may want to publish it on a website. As you may know from Adobe Muse, you can automatically publish your pages on Business Catalyst, a hosting service that is part of the Creative Cloud. It will create a unique URL and it's a great way to quickly share your work with your customers. But you can also decide to upload your pages on your own server. To do so, choose the command Upload to FTP Host and enter your FTP credentials. Your website will be online and then your customers may want to edit some text or change some pictures on the website. In the 2014 release of Adobe Muse CC, you can now use a new service called In-Browser Editing that lets your customers or coworkers directly edit the content of your website. They just need to log in on inbrowserediting.adobe.com and edit the pages. Once they click on Publish, the modifications are live, and the next time you'll open Adobe Muse, the app will detect the changes and you'll be able to review them. To learn more about Adobe Muse, stay tuned for more tutorials on Tuts Plus. Check this page to find the latest tutorials on Adobe Muse and visit muse.adobe.com to download and try Adobe Muse CC.